I wanted to look briefly at what the sketch of two different reference frames looks like on a Minkowski diagram. We'll consider for, first a reference frame S prime, which is moving along the positive x direction in another reference frame X. So if X reference, refers to the spatial coordinate in the frame S, X prime and T prime will refer to the dimensions of the Minkowski space for S prime. We'll suppose that S prime is moving along the plus X direction in S. Someone in S who thinks that she's at rest is actually moving along a slanted world line in the frame S. As a result, the Lorentz transformations have to have the minus sign in front of them. In other words, CT prime is gamma CT minus beta X, and X prime is gamma X minus beta beta CT. We'll say more about that in just a moment, why it's the minus sign, not the plus sign. But looking at the Lorentz transformations for X prime, this version of the Lorentz transformation will show a person moving at the following coordinates. X of T will be some initial coordinate X naught plus beta CT. Now, how does that translate to the minus sign in the Lorentz transformations up here? Well, when I take CT minus beta, excuse me, x minus beta ct, x minus beta ct will be a constant. It will be x naught. In other words, it will have x prime be a constant because x prime is gamma times that quantity in parentheses. And we think that the observer standing still in s prime should think that they're at a constant location. Well, that person should have a world line that looks like this. It's the red dashed line here that starts out at a coordinate x naught and moves off to the right with some slope. And remember that this has to be parallel to the CT prime axis because the CT prime axis itself is a world line for a person who thinks they're at rest standing at the origin and in this new frame S prime. So our red case is just the person who thinks that they're standing at some new coordinate X naught in the new reference frame. And remember that the X prime axis is also tilted relative to the axes in S. It's just tilted up from the x-axis. That's because if we think back to our example of the moving ruler where we had flashes of light emanating out from the middle toward the two ends, that's the pair of one, that's the line along which we would see the two light rays reach the end of the ruler when the ruler is moving past us in the lab. Another frame, S double prime, which is even moving faster than this frame S prime, We'll have another pair of axes that move closer and closer to the 45 degree line. In other words, the CT double prime axis is over here, the X double prime axis is up here. That's because this angle between the CT prime axis and the CT axis is related to V over C. In other words, tangent of that angle is equal to V over C. Likewise, tangent between X prime and X is equal to V over C. So that's what the, the axes look like when the reference frame S prime is moving to the right in frame S. Moving to the right, I should say, means moving along the positive X direction. What does a backward posted reference frame look like? One that's moving backwards is a frame S prime, which is moving with speed V along the minus X direction in a reference frame S. So an S prime who thinks she's actually at rest will actually be moving with a slanted uh, world line in the reference frame S, but slanted in the reverse sense of what we've been drawing typically. The Lorentz transformation equations going from the unprimed frame to the prime frame will consequently have a plus sign in front of the beta term. We'll come back to why it's a plus sign in just a moment. But we can think about this as follows. If we draw the equations of motion for the person who's moving in the minus x direction, they might look something like this. My x of t is some constant x naught minus beta c times t. Such a person, if you look back at the Lorentz transformation equations here, beta or x plus beta c t will be a constant. As a result, the, co the quantity x prime will be a constant, which is perfect, because that person in the frame s prime needs to think that they're at rest. So the world line will look like this red dashed line is shown. Note that it's going to have to be parallel to the CT prime axis. So the CT prime axis is going to point over to the left, away from the, uh, from the CT, prime, CT axis. So this is the opposite of what we usually draw. 
the x prime axis has to tilt downward. And that's because this represents the kinds of events that would be simultaneous if we think back to our moving ruler example, where the moving ruler is moving to the left instead of moving to the right. Actually, what I just drew is the minus x prime axis, if you look at the Lorentz equations, because when time gets big, then x prime has to get large. But when time goes negative, then x prime has to go negative. So actually, the plus x prime direction is like this. It's over to the left. And the minus x prime direction is down here to the right. As before, when the speed increases between s prime and s, then these two axes, the CD prime axis and the plus X prime axis, move closer and for closer to 45 degrees, but over here in the second quadrant. And that's because this angle between the CT prime axis and the CT axis, the tangent of that angle is V over C.